McLaughlin, and today we're, we're having a conversation with Daryl King, who leads one of the leading teams in real estate, the Daryl King team. Um, Daryl, how did you get in the business? Well, it was real easy. I was going to be a, a doctor, but the doctor part of it was uh, scientific and research. And then I said, no, i got to go into real estate. This is where my love and my passion was. So, you know, I went into real estate uh, in the 80s when the interest rates were very high. You know, my first year I ended up number one in my office. I cracked the top 100 in the country in my first year. I think I sold 26 homes, right? That's incredible. What, what, because obviously your structure has changed over the years. Well, it, it, so what happened is when I ended up coming to this office after coming, changing brokerages and stuff, mm -hmm. I used to have a back office in the back. Mm. Now it was only one little smaller, it was, a, you know, I don't know, 1,200 square feet or something. Mm -hmm. And then I accumulated the next side, so I had about 14 or 1,500 square feet. So I figured, man, I got a lot of bills to pay. I need more, more assistance. So before I came to this part, I had built up, I had, I think, maybe six or eight assistants at, like, buyer agents and stuff like that. And, you know, we were doing the same business, but then I figured I needed more people to help pay the bills. Yeah. So my team got larger by default. Mm -hmm. Not because I planned to do it but to try and help pay for the expenses, mm. you know. Interesting.